To world news now, Russian President Vladimir Putin told the new U.S. and EU ambassadors in blunt language on Wednesday that their countries were responsible for a dramatic deterioration in relations since Russia sent its armed forces into Ukraine last year. NBC's Matt Bradley has those details from Kyiv. Well, we just heard from Vladimir Putin yesterday. He was greeting new diplomats, new ambassadors who were arriving in Russia, including Lynn Tracy, who was just uh, the American ambassador, who was just approved back in January. And there was an awkward moment, to put it mildly. Putin considers himself to be at war with the U.S. just as much as he is here in Ukraine, even though no shots have been fired, really, between the two sides. Um, but he confronted the U.S. ambassador in front of everybody at this very formal ceremony that is typical of international diplomacy, where new incoming ambassadors present their credentials to the head of state. And he said to this new ambassador, Lynn Tracy, that the U.S. was at fault for the war in Ukraine and said that it was because the U.S. had backed what he said was a coup d'etat back in 2014. Now, Ukrainians say that they were in the streets protesting, they call it the revolution of dignity, that they ousted this pro-Russian president. And that is what eventually led to Vladimir Putin invading the eastern part of this country and uh, the southern part, the Crimean Peninsula. And we have gone from there. The full-scale invasion happened years and years later. But after that, we then saw that the, uh, the president uh, then dismissed everybody and said that he was, uh, he was dismissing them because of sanitary procedures. This president is still terrified of contracting COVID. And we just heard yesterday from a newly released uh, uh, statement from a defector, a high-level security agent who said that this president is paranoid, he's ensconced himself in privacy, he doesn't listen to news, he doesn't have access to the internet or even cell phones, he only seems to take advice from yes-men, and that's one very rare insight that we're seeing into why this president, Vladimir Putin, has launched an invasion like this one and is continuing to invade, even though the tide seems to have been turning against him. Matt Bradley, NBC News, Kyiv, Ukraine.